Ocean of Magic. Hello everybody, this is Brandon Parker again with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be in Photoshop. I'm going to be showing you how I did this uh, wallpaper of my favorite football team, New England Patriots. How I did a wallpaper like this. I showed you in one of my tutorials that I did with the Summer Glow one. But I'm going to show you how to do it simply a lot better and, and give you a lot more information. How do you, you can do it a lot quicker and a lot easier than what I did in my first tutorial on it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you uh, a few wallpapers that I made. I'm going to go right in here. I'm going to go where my wallpapers, some of them that I made. I'm going to go here. Let's see. Let's go to here. Let's go to pictures. Okay. And I'm going to go here. And a lot of them I made so far are like off of uh, the TV show Terminator, the Saracona Chronicles, and uh, from Summer Glow. So uh, that's mostly what I've done so far since I've had uh, Photoshop. Wallpapers right here. Okay, and here's one of them. Okay, this is one that I made of Summer Glow. I did this one. Okay, then here's another one. I did this one. It's Summer Glow and Arnold. It's not really that good. Or that was when I was still brand new to Photoshop and learning some different tricks. This one is okay. It's not perfect either, but it's pretty good. And then let's go to what's another good one? This one. Okay, I this is the one that I did the tutorial for when I did this one my, on my first tutorial. And then uh, let's go back to my better ones. I'll go to like I have some better ones. I'll go to. See, go here, go back, go back, go back. Let's go to uh, lots of wall Legend of the Seeker wallpapers. We'll do this. Here's this one's a really good one. I just did this one not too long ago. Right before I did the Patriots one that I'm showing you, I just did this one. So it's pretty neat. I blended this. I took this from the episodes of uh, Legend of Seeker. From uh, this is from the first and second episode of Legend of Seeker. And uh, I just blended uh, the, see how all the colors are pretty much the same. And then I brightened them a little bit. Then I just uh, blended them in. And it's kind of hard to tell uh, that it doesn't look like they don't belong together. It looks like they all are, are on the same scene. It looks pretty nice and it's a nice wallpaper. I could have done a lot more with it, but uh, I decided to just accept it like that and leave it. And just to show you for this tutorial, and then I'm going to show you how to do something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to get back into Photoshop. And I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up, let's see, I'm going to go, whoops. I'm going to file, open. And what I'm going to do is, okay. And just to show you a little bit of how this looks right there. This one, okay. And then I'm going to go close out of that and open. Let's go to. I'm gonna go to. Let's go to pictures. It's gonna be in other pictures. It's gonna be in uh, screenshots. They have Legend of the Seeker. Uh, the photos that I wanted and I've selected, they're all from Legend of the Seeker. And uh, what I did is most of the ones that I'm using for this tutorial are ones that I found searching in Google. So I'm going to show you. Let me show you exactly how I did this right here for this tutorial. Let me show you everything that I did. Mostly, what I did to do this is I just went into the make this simple. Is uh, I went into the faded eraser brush, selected that, and I selected the faded eraser brush. And, and then the size that I'm using right now is 40 and I made sure that the hardness is 0% but if you just select the faded uh, brush and you leave it at 0% it should uh, do what you're looking for and then what I did is I got real close in there and I erased as much as possible without uh, doing too much damage to the uh, persons in the background and then this is what I've got for the uh, this is the background Okay, and this is what I have for the background. Okay, this is the texture that I was using. 
This is, yeah, there it is right there. This is the texture that I was using. For this. And then I'll just, uh, and then that's what I was using. Then what I did is I made the texture, put it on top of all the layers, then I soft lighted it, then I changed the image adjustment, and I went to brightness, and I also changed the color balance of it to make it a little bit greener. I changed the color balance, messing around with this a little bit. You can add a lot more green to it. Whatever you're looking for and whatever suits you best and your wallpaper you're trying to do. And that's what I did. And I'll leave it like that. And that's how I have it like right now. So that they blend in pretty good. As long as all the images are similar in color, similar in, uh, in uh, the background and everything. Uh, then you, you won't have so much trouble with uh, uh, making your images blend together and look like they belong together. That's pretty much what I did for that and what I'm going to do next is uh, show you how I uh, can get uh, screen caps and everything from TV so shows and episodes. And I'm going to do this for Final Cut and Sony Vegas because a lot of people have Sony Vegas who watch my tutorials. So uh, I'm going to go right into Windows. Here. Okay, and I'm going to open up Sony Vegas. And I'm going to show you how to get screen caps so you could do wallpapers like the one that I just show you now. And what, what I'm going to do is, well, first what I'm going to have to do is you know, I'm going to show you how to get screen caps in Sony Vegas and how to take pictures with it. If you don't know how and you want to do it. Uh, anything with episodes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this right in here. Okay. Okay, and it takes a while to look, but what you're going to do is you're going to click here where it says save snapshot to file. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to select and it'll say image one. And you, you just, what I would do is I just call this, let's say, which Richard pick one okay and I'd save it go to let's see is go to you know my book and then pictures and then go to others and then what I do is I go to uh, other see lots of wallpaper and I'll go to I'll go back go back I'll go back to uh, yeah, screen caps. Let's go to save. Okay. And you just keep doing that for whatever one you want. For whatever you want to save a snapshot to. And it should come in HD. And you can mess around with it a little bit. Okay. And then, like here, I'll save this one. I'll save that. I'll just call it Richard. Okay, and I'll get Richard pick two. Two. Right there, I saved that one. And that's how I got most of my screen caps. Some of them you can find them online if someone's done them for you. If you don't really can't really get them to come in HD, but if you're uh. If your video file is not in HD, don't bother trying to do a wall wallpaper out of it because it's going to be really hard. Yeah, make sure the picture comes in pretty good quality so that you can uh, do a screen cap to it. And that's how you do that here in Sony Vegas. I'm going to show you Final Cut now for people who have Final Cut. So what I'm going to do is get out of this. Okay, now to do it in Final Cut is what you do is you open up Final Cut and then uh, to uh, save a snapshot is what you do is we're going to I'm going to click a spot in the video. I'm going to go to a good one in here. Right in here. Okay, and then what you do is you go to you go to modify, you go to make freeze frame. Okay, and you drag it right in here into your uh, sequence area. And then you right click that. Go to export using QuickTime conversion. And you go right in here. 
then you go to still image, make it JPEG, and then you can pick one of any of these, but I say JPEG, best option to do for Final Cut. And you go to save, make sure it's where you want it. Okay, you save it right in here, name it, let's say Richard Pick 3. Okay, third one. Okay, and you should have it. And then what you do is you get out of Final Cut Express, you go to quit. Cancel all the saves if you don't want to save anything. Make sure you. Okay, and then you're done there, and that's it. That's all you do. Uh, and that's pretty much it in this tutorial. I hope you uh, got what you're looking for. I uh, hope I helped you out and uh, uh, for anyone who's on Windows and for anyone who's on a Mac, uh, that's it. Comment, rate, subscribe and uh, I'll see you in my next tutorial. Uh, if you have a request or anything, let me know. And uh, once in a blue moon, I'll be doing remixes of songs and beats or whatever. So if you're looking for a beat remix or something so that you won't get copyrighted in your videos or whatever, and you want to have royalty free uh, music, uh, hit me up and uh, I'll be glad to do a, a song for you, uh, whatever you're looking for. And that's it. And see you later in my next video.